Hey, Rob here for QuadraTech. Today we're taking a look at our aluminum modular skid plates available for the 2020 and newer Jeep Gladiator JT equipped with the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Adding our modular skid plate system to the underside of your Gladiator will improve the protection to your vulnerable components on the belly of your Jeep when you're headed off the pavement. We also offer the QuadraTech modular aluminum skid plates for everything from the 0718 Jeep Wrangler JK and JK Unlimited to the 18 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL. Today, we're specifically focusing on the skid plates for the Gladiator. If you want to check out the full lineup of available skid plates, you can click the info button to head over to QuadraTech.com. Now, the skid plates are available in a modular configuration, which is made up of an engine and transmission skid plate, a transfer case skid plate, and a fuel tank skid plate. There's also an available sway bar skid plate for the front of the vehicle. All of our skid plates are constructed from very durable, yet incredibly lightweight, six millimeter thick, stamped 5052 aluminum. By going with aluminum for the skid plates, of course, we're offering an incredible weight savings over steel skid plates of the same thickness. Aluminum offers a lot of other benefits as well. Of course, it's incredibly corrosion resistant. And of course, the nature of skid plates is to skid them over top of rocks and gouge them up to protect the other equipment on your Jeep. And by doing so, you're not gonna have to worry about these skid plates forming rust and corrosion because that aluminum is gonna do a great job at preventing that. Of course, they're also lightweight, which makes them easy to install, even if you're tackling this job yourself. Now, speaking of the installation, we've designed our modular skid plate system to be incredibly easy to install. In fact, it's a complete bolt-on system. It comes with all the hardware needed to install the skid plates, as well as heavy-duty new steel cross members and mounting brackets to go with the aluminum skid plates. And it is a modular system, which means that you can pick and choose exactly which skid plate you want on your Jeep. All of them are capable of working independently, or you can combine them together for the full amount of protection to the underside of your Jeep. Now it is worth noting, if you're going to be installing the complete package or any combination of skid plates, you wanna work from the front of the vehicle to the back, as they do overlap each other, and things like the fuel tank skid plate require the new cross members to be installed before you install the skid plate over the existing fuel tank skid plate. Our aluminum modular engine and transmission skid plate up front here, as I mentioned, is compatible with the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It is not compatible if your Jeep came with the e-torque system. The front skid plate also includes this removable access panel that makes it really easy for you to still perform oil changes without the need to completely remove that front skid plate. And if we work our way back, the next skid plate here is gonna be our transmission skid plate, which offers an incredible improvement over that factory transfer case skid plate. And again, you can see that it sandwiches just underneath of that front engine and transmission skid plate. Also comes with a new cross member here and then bolts to the existing factory cross member found at the center here. Now, finally, that fuel tank skid plate actually installs right over top of your existing fuel tank skid plate, along with some new brackets to get it mounted in place. Now, it is worth noting when you're installing this fuel tank skid plate, you'll wanna do so with the lowest amount of fuel in that tank possible to keep the weight down. Now, if we get onto the installation, it's very easy. You'll get started by removing the forward cross member for the engine and transmission skid plate. If you're gonna be installing the transfer case skid plate, we can also go ahead and remove the factory transfer case skid and cross member as well. Next, we'll install the forward mounting brackets. These simply bolt to the existing mounting studs found on the factory motor mounts, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. You wanna make sure that you keep this hardware loose at this time until we have all of the skid plates installed, and then we'll go back and tighten everything down at one time. Next, we can install the new cross member for the skid plate. You'll wanna make sure that the widest point of the cross member is towards the front of the vehicle. You can install this with the new provided hardware, or like I'm doing, if your factory hardware is still in good shape, you can reuse that. We can then lift the engine and transfer case skid plate into place 
and secure it loosely with the provided hardware. Three bolts will install through the skid plate into the new cross member with one bolt at the front on each side into the new mounting brackets. Next up, we can install the new cross member for the transfer case skid plate. Again, I'm gonna be reusing my factory hardware on both sides of the vehicle here, or you can use the new provided hardware. With the cross member loosely installed, we can lift the transfer case skid plate into place, slipping it on top between the engine and transmission skid plate and the middle cross member, and then hold it in place with the new provided hardware. There will be two bolts at the rear of the skid plate into the new cross member and three bolts at the front of the skid plate that will go through both the front engine and transmission skid as well as the transfer case skid plate. To prepare for installing the fuel tank skid, we'll start by removing one of the mounting bolts just to the side of the drive shaft where we can install the new fuel tank skid plate mounting bracket with the factory hardware. Then continue by working your way around the fuel tank, removing the remaining factory bolts. As I mentioned earlier, it's important to make sure that the fuel level is as low as possible to keep the fuel tank as light as possible while you're completing this installation. With all the factory bolts removed, we'll begin by installing the rear mounting bracket, reusing the factory hardware to both the center and outside edges of the fuel tank. Follow that up by installing the second piece of that rear mounting bracket to the piece we just installed with the four provided bolts. At this point, we can lift the fuel tank skid plate into place. And again, because it's an aluminum skid plate, it's relatively lightweight. Well, if you need an extra hand, you could always use your head. I'm gonna loosely install the new mounting hardware at the rear bracket and in the center of the fuel tank skid plate first, then continue around reinstalling all of the factory hardware sandwiching the new fuel tank skid plate over top of the existing skid plate. With all of the skid plates now installed, this is the perfect time while everything is loose to shift everything around to get everything perfectly aligned to your liking, at which point we can go back and tighten all the hardware to the specifications provided in the installation manuals. The Quadratech aluminum modular skid plate system will allow you to confidently tackle those difficult obstacles with some added protection for the components on the underside of your Jeep. If you wanna get more information or to purchase the engine and transmission, transfer case, fuel tank skid, or all three for your 20 or newer Jeep Gladiator JT. You can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the skid plates, how to get them installed, or anything I went over today, you can always do that for me down in the comment section below, or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon, so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob, I'll see you out on the trail.